Musician-wise, I'm a big Jimi Hendrix fan, and a big uh, late 60s, early 70s rock music fan. I also like bands like Cameo and um, Parliament Funkadelic and those groups and everything else. Um, as far as producers and you know engineers, I mean, a uh, 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 good friend of mine, Jimmy Douglas, is probably the best hip hop R&B engineer out there. I've worked with him on many different records that range from Justin Timberlake to Duran Duran to Aaliyah to Missy Elliott to, to um, you know, most every pop R&B artist that's out there today. And he's a good friend of mine, and he's really great. And a lot of my techniques and eye concepts and everything I picked up from working with him when I was coming up. Another great producer, friend of mine, who I love the way he works, is uh, Tony Visconti. I had a chance to work with him on a David Bowie record, and from there we became friends and get to pick his brain a lot about the, a lot of the uh, you know records he did back in the 70s and a lot of his concepts. And he's he's one of those producers that is textbook uh, adventurous is the best way to put it. You know, he's the one who will be like, okay, let's put this up and try this and there's so many different cool techniques and ideas that I've picked up from watching him work and, and listening to his stories of him making these great Bowie records and, the, and these great you know records that he's made over, over, over the past years. I love Led Zeppelin, I love Van Halen, there's been several different genres. I love Slash and, um, and Guns N' Roses, things that they did. Oh yeah, there's also Rick Rubin. Love everything Rick Rubin does. Rick Rubin is, is, is one of those crazy Buddha types who wants to make records his way and great, fortunately for him, his way sounds great and works for me very well. Love the Ch Red Hot Chili Peppers, love all the stuff he's done with them. Love records he's done with Jay-Z and some of his newer, newer artists and the Beastie Boys and all those guys. Prince is one of my all-time favorite songwriters, producers. He's a very hands-on guy. I haven't had the pleasure of working with him yet, but hearing stories of his sessions and how he plays every instrument and comes up with ideas on the fly and you know and, and working with stuff really phenomenal cat really phenomenal cat um i grew up at a certain time where michael jackson was an idol to all of us and you know listening to his records from the time he was a boy until just recently where in rest in peace where you know all the records he's made he's brought an element to pop music that no one else could even touch you know the king of pop is exactly what you should call him as a vehicle music is important to all of us and as a cultural element it tells our story it records our history it, it allows us to have a good saturday night it gives us something to listen to in the morning when we're getting ready and trying to motivate ourselves for our day and i guess the best answer to that question is anybody who's doing something out there and creative and kind of having a, a don't care attitude, I don't care about the rule books, you know, we have, we're, we're here to, to change people's hearts and minds on something. Those are the people I really like. Nile Rodgers, he had great records over the days and everything else. I guess I'm a city kid, I like that New York sound that, you know, that has come up over the ages and everything else, that New York uh, R&B, you know, pop R&B sound and everything else. So as far as I'm concerned, that's my list.